Welcome to Structured 10-15 Minute Summary. You can use for a presentation, video script, or lesson on the fascinating world of ternary computing and the set and legacy. I've broken it into digestible sections with a natural flow and some storytelling flair to keep it engaging. Introduction, why ternary computing? Most modern computers use binary logic, just zeros and ones. But what if we used three states instead? Enter ternary computing, which uses night as one, zero, and plus one, often symbolized as zero plus. This system is called balanced ternary, and it's mathematically elegant, more efficient in some operations, and potentially more compact. The Seddon Computer, a Soviet innovation. In 1958, Moscow State University developed the Seddon, the world's first ternary computer. Led by Sergei Sobolev, the goal was to create a small, affordable, and reliable machine for education and research. Seddon used trits, ternary digits, instead of bits, and its architecture was designed around balanced ternary logic. Seddon 70, the evolution. In 1970, the improved Seton 70 was introduced. It featured a trite system, six trits per unit, 9.5 bits, a two-stack architecture, one for operands, one for return addresses, support for structured programming, inspired by Dijkstra's ideas. Programs were written in postfix notation, like Polish notation, simplifying parsing and execution. Ternary CPUs and logic gates. A ternary CPU processes data using trits, enabling more nuanced logic and potentially faster computation for certain tasks. Ternary logic gates include TAN, ternary ANT, or ternary OR, or TN, TN OR, etc. These gates operate on three input states, allowing more compact and expressive logic circuits. Balanced ternary, the heart of it all. Balanced ternary uses digits, one, zero, plus one. Advantages, no need for separate sign bits, efficient rounding and arithmetic, elegant representation of negative numbers. Donald Knuth called it the most graceful number system. Why didn't ternary computers take over? Despite their elegance, ternary systems faced Manufacturing challenges, binary was easier to implement with existing tech, lack of commercial support, binary dominance in global computing standards. After set in 70, research largely stopped, but interest has revived in niche academic and experimental circles. Modern echoes and legacy. Today, ternary computing inspires quantum computing, which uses qubits with multiple states, ternary emulators and educational tools, renewed interest in efficient logic systems for AI and low power devices. Closing thoughts, ternary computing, especially through the lens of Seddon 770, shows how alternative logic systems can challenge norms and offer elegant solutions. While binary reigns supreme, Ternary logic remains a symbol of innovation, mathematical beauty, and computational curiosity. Bonus, here are some vivid analogies to help learners intuitively grasp ternary logic, especially balanced ternary, which uses niners one, zero, and plus one. These are designed to spark curiosity and make abstract concepts feel concrete. Analogy one, theater seating, left, center, right, Imagine a small theater with three types of seats. Left side equals shrimp one, zero. Right side equals plus one. Just like choosing where to sit reflects your position, ternary logic reflects a value's direction. Negative, neutral, or positive. This is more expressive than binary, which only says yes or no. Ternary says yes, no, or maybe. Analogy two, a balance scale. Picture a classic two pan balance scale. A weight on the left pan equals minus one. No weight equals zero. A weight on the right pan equals plus one. 
Balanced ternary is like constantly adjusting this scale to keep it level. It's elegant because it naturally handles positive and negative values without needing a separate sign bit. Analogy three, joystick movement. Think of a joystick with three positions. Tilt left equals demo one. Stay centered equals draw. Tilt right equals plus one. This mirrors ternary logic gates. Inputs can pull the output left, right, or keep it neutral. It's more nuanced than a binary switch, which is just on off. Analogy four, traffic lights. Imagine a traffic light. Red, what, stop. Yellow, yellow, grow, wait. Green equals ones, go. Binary logic is like a switch, either go or stop. Ternary logic introduces a middle state, allowing systems to pause, wait, or hold, a powerful concept in control systems and decision-making. Analogy five, ancient abacus with three bead positions. On a ternary abacus, bead push left equals curls one, bead in center equals zero, bead pushed right equals plus one. This setup allows for more compact representation of numbers and operations. Balanced ternary can often represent values with fewer digits than binary. Hash bonus analogy, ice cube tray logic. Imagine a tray with three compartments, cold equal pun, room temp equals zero, hot plus one. If you're designing a system to respond to temperature, ternary logic lets you express cooling, neutral, or heating, a richer decision-making model than binary.